I bet you see this page every single day. Google's homepage is simplistic yet elegant and users benefit from that. It's done through user experience. Now I've been studying this for a few months now and I'm here to share all the content and resources that I found helpful. Check it out. So it started a few months ago, I wanted to make better content, I wanted to make better web pages, uh, more intuitive features for my users. So I did what I do best and I went and found a ton of content. This book, I gotta be honest, I had it a long time ago before I even got into UX, but it's really influenced everything and if you're just getting into this and you don't have a design background, read this book. It's amazing. And it goes farther than just graphic design. It is all about design in general. So think about like if you're designing a database, all these things um, that you would design that aren't just, you know, for cosmetics. And the cover is just great. It tells you exactly um, what's going on with some of the things that we see. You know, the spout is backwards and it's, it's just crazy. But that's that's legit what I see sometimes uh, out in the wild. So um, a great book. Check it out. Now, another book that you should check out is Purple Cow. This is about marketing and stuff, but it helps you uh, realize some of that stuff about being remarkable, being different, and how that's great for customers. Seth Godin is one of my favorite guys to listen to about marketing or creating like um, a community and stuff. He's a great guy. All right, now moving on to some online content, Growth Driven Design by HubSpot is top notch. Uh, it's all about these soft things about, you know, design. It's not hardcore coding or it doesn't have any coding in there, but it talks more about the philosophy and, and why you do some things. It's a great course um, and it's free. You just have to sign up for a HubSpot account and go to the online training center here and they'll get you hooked up. It's, it's a great course. Growth Driven Design. It's about uh, 11 hours. It's uh, 10 and a half hours and they talk about all sorts of things you can see developing a website strategy all these things that are just so crucial it's it's one of my favorite courses honestly and it's it's very enjoyable it's very easy to watch so we're staying simplistic we're building it up to more complex user experience topics but just having a basic grasp of graphic design is great you know what it is and how you use it and this is actually a free course I believe from Udemy called introduction to graphic design if you can tell um, it's just great because it goes through like textures and elements and um, all sorts of different things and how you can use it in the real world it's it's a great it's a great primer and they have other courses as well but I would definitely check this out and it's it's an easy um, thing to pick up it's not very long at all definitely check this out alright so now we're getting into the more specific stuff um, with UX and developers plural site has the best content that I could find out there for UX now I gotta be honest I didn't search everywhere but of all the resources that I had Plural site was, believe it or not, one of the best. Not just a book or not just an online course or anything like that. It was one of the best places to go. Um, User Experience Tips and Tricks for Developers by Amber is great and she has uh, another one. This was released in 2015. Still relevant. Still awesome. Not a lot of coding going on here. Uh, user Experience the Big Picture. A lot of the stuff is reiterated. Um, it's two years newer, but there is some other stuff to go in there and it just helps to um, really solidify basic UX stuff here. Let's go ahead and see some of the stuff they have here, or she has here rather, the UX process, um, doing your research, you know, uh, information architecture, great stuff. And if you look back on this previous course, um, it's a little simpler, but um, it's so important. Now going farther down the, the road, uh, Kevin Harvey has a great course and this is uh, a little more advanced. It's UX for developers, but it's it's freaking awesome. Now it is older, like 2014, but it's it, it has the actual development in mind. You know, the, the actual software It's not just some abstract thing. So, you know, preparing to do UX and all different things that are uh, involved with that, like, you know, getting started and stuff and, and how you can use this. It's a great course uh, for developers, but, you know, if, if you want to get started, I, I recommend you start with some of these other things, like maybe the growth, growth driven design uh, with HubSpot and then moving on to this. I know if you're a developer, you just want to get in there and code and stuff, but I really uh, encourage you to do some of those um, primers, some of that foundational stuff with graphic design. Now, Dino Esposito has a pretty good course. It's rather recent. 
about um, doing UX. Now, I can't remember doing too much about this. All I remember is that it was pretty good. I won't talk too much about it, but um, that's why it's kind of here towards the end. But I have actually saved the best for last. All right, so creating user experiences, fundamental design principles by Billy Hollis. This is my favorite course. It's an amazing course. It's four hours and 31 minutes long. And if you see in the corner here, it hasn't been updated since 2012. So you're probably thinking, oh, that's forever. Like, you know, code changes all the time. User experience, these types of things do not change as often. And he has some things in there that I wouldn't choose for user experience, but it's great to see these different things. And you can tell that Billy has really done his homework. Um, it's just amazing how much um, detail he has as far as graphic design and then he he uh, takes like us you know usability as well it's just amazing to see him link graphic design and usability up to software and coding and stuff it is the best class I took I love it I love Billy's uh, teaching style it was awesome and if you're only gonna take one course I would recommend taking this course if you're only gonna take one this is the course to take. It's absolutely fantastic. And there you go. There is some UX stuff there for you to check out if you're looking to get into this. Now, there are a ton of resources on YouTube and, you know, on blog posts. So definitely search those through Google. You can do that. But as far as like paid stuff and, and things to really dig deep that are so focused, this is the stuff right here. Well, let me know if you've done any UX stuff, if you found some other resources that you can share with me or, you know, our group of people here. And, um, you know, we'll talk about it. Talk to you guys later. Keep on learning.